time I'm being asked to solve an equation. So this is a little bit different and as usual when I solve an equation what I want to do is isolate the variable. So my goal is going to be to isolate k. But in order to do this I'm going to use the rule that I just learned today about applying the distributive property to a monomial times a polynomial. So doing that it's going to give me 2k times k. So this time I'm not writing that out, I'm just going to multiply it out in my head and go ahead and write it down, just as you will be as you get more proficient at these. 2k squared. Okay, now I'm applying the 2k, I'm going to multiply that times 4, and that's going to give me plus 8k. Now, I have a negative here, so I'm going to change this to a positive. And I'm going to apply the negative to everything within these a parentheses, okay? So that's negative 3k times k is going to give me negative 3k squared. Negative 3k times 7 is going to be negative 21k. Just to show you what I was doing. This is another step you might be able to eliminate later and just do in your head, but this shows you the process of what actually happened. Here I have negative k times k, and that's going to give me negative k squared. And this is negative k times 3, or negative 3k minus 30. Now I'm going to get rid of my parentheses. This is going to become negative 3k squared minus 2k. Okay. Next step is to combine like terms. And I do have some like terms because I have this 2k squared and a negative 3k. If I add that, those two together, I'm going to come up with negative k squared. I also have 8k and negative 2k. Okay. So then when I add those together, that's actually 21, negative 21k. I forgot to bring that down. So that is negative 21k. So 8k minus 21k is going to give you negative 13k. On this side, um, I don't have any like terms to combine. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is add k squared to both sides. And let's see what happens when I do that, because I'm trying to isolate my k. So I'm trying to move one of this k to the other side. And in order to do that, my usual technique is to add the opposite. Something interesting happens when I do that, and something very helpful, it's that the k squareds drop out. So negative k plus k squared becomes zero. On this side, the same thing, negative k squared plus k squared also becomes zero. And this leaves me with something that's pretty easy to work with. I now have negative 13k equals negative 3k minus 30. I'm going to add 3k to both sides. And that's going to give me a negative 10k equals negative 30. And then I divide both sides by negative 10, and I come up with k equals 3. So what we did is use the technique of multiplying a monomial by a polynomial using the distributive property to solve this equation. And once we did that, we applied the distributive property, we got to this point, and then we just applied the usual techniques for solving equations. And fortunately, the k squared dropped out, and later on we'll learn how to solve equations with a term like this, but for right now um, we're solving linear equations, so that gave me a linear equation that I was able to solve with k equals 3. That concludes this lesson. I'll see you soon on educator.com.